Hello, this is explaining the full body brace. The idea of the full body brace is to make you aware of how it feels when you recruit the muscles correctly in the body, particularly when you're going to be doing day-to-day -day activities or in the gym. First thing you want to remember is your feet. So having your feet about hip width apart, facing straight ahead. When you have them in position, what I want you to think is you're trying to turn your knees outwards. What you're doing is plying that torque, so what it almost feels like is you're tearing the carpet apart. So your feet still stay straight, but you turn those legs outwards and you feel those muscles tighten up. The second part is the bum muscle. What you want to do is contract the bum muscles as tight as you can. That'll bring the pelvis into alignment and you'll feel what it's like when you turn those muscles on when you need to do exercises. The third part is where you're narrowing the torso. So you're not just trying to clench it tight, what you're trying to do is narrow the torso. You're almost thinking that there's a cylinder and you're trying to shrink that cylinder from your shoulders down across your hips. So you're tensing those muscles, just narrowing that cylinder. And the last thing you want to do is with your hands, push your hands down and drive outwards with the shoulders. So that's screwing the shoulders into the socket. So what you should feel then is all those muscles turned on from your ankles right through up into those shoulders. That's giving the body an awareness of what it feels like when those muscles are turned on, particularly when you're going to do activity. So from the side, you'll set your feet, turning that torque on, so tearing that carpet apart, we call it. Squeeze the bum muscles, narrow the torso, drive the hands down and back. What that is, is bringing the body also into the neutral posture position to make sure that you're nice and strong and stable. So parts of these braces and these moves will be used on particular exercises in the gym, but also at home. If you're just doing this at home, just hold for about 20 to 30 seconds, a really powerful contraction. You don't want to be doing a lot of them. You'd be rather doing two, three, four, maybe at the most, where you have a really strong, powerful contraction for that whole time.